We are Emma, Sean, Rex and Maggie. Join us as we explore the UK and beyond in our old motorhome Rene. In this episode, we stay in the village of Braemar and visit Balmoral Castle. Braemar Village is known for its annual Braemar Gathering, a Highland Games event that is attended by the British Royal Family. It's a charming village with a rich history and culture. Plus, there are plenty of bars, cafes and shops to enjoy. Sean was particularly interested in visiting the Hazelnut Patisserie and the Braemar Microbrewery, which are in the heart of the village. So I found the patisserie and the brewery, little micro brewery. Um, they didn't have a lot left because it's the end of the day. So I'm going to pop back in the morning because they've got a better selection and probably pick up some beers. But we found this little pub just here that sells the Braemar beer. So I managed to pick myself up a little pint, just give it a little try and yeah, not bad. I think I'll be picking up a couple of bottles tomorrow morning. So Sunday morning, I came back for my uh, cake and beer, and the mission was successful. Uh, I've got cakes in hand, beer in the backpack, so uh, I'll show you what we've got when we get back to the van. So now we're back at the van, you can see my purchase. So I have an oat stout. I've had a couple of oat stouts up here in Scotland. Haven't tried that one, but I'm sure it'll be amazing. And this is the beer that we had in the pub yesterday. So I got a bottle of that and one of his new two third of a pint glasses, stemmed glasses, because that's the way to drink beer now. So down with the kids. <laughs> it's cake time. I couldn't resist it. It's just been calling me from the fridge. So You're we've only had waited a, about 10 minutes. We've had our lunch and we've got some coffee. So now it's time for cake. So this one is my cake. So this is the berry. We'll make sure Maggie don't get it. Flan. And this one is Emma's. Which is, it's like a shoe bun. Hazelnut. I believe it is a shoe. Hazelnut it's very shoe. Neat. It's very neat, isn't it? Look at mm. that. So, let's see if it lives up to the hype. Consistency is good. Oh. That is great cake. Sean is making me try his cake. I am not a fan of eggy custard tarty flanny cake. It tastes it's gonna like, make me. It tastes like ice cream. Really? Taste it. Nice flavour. It's more like cheesecake. Yeah, it's like a cheesecake. It's not the consistency it's of... It's not eggy. No, it's not like a flan. It's not like a pastel donata type thing. Okay, well, I tried it. You did well. You can eat the rest of it. I will do, thank you very much. I don't need asking twice. 
I don't really like people filming me eating because I'm fat but and this thing looks is like a work of art as well oh it's like a shoe bun with like a chocolate crust on the outside <gasps> and it's got like a cream filling vanilla cream filling I don't know if you can see that oh yeah look at that look at that's vanilla you can see all the vanilla pods in that it that looks amazing oh my gosh that's refined like we eat a lot of french cake when we're in france and this is proper refined cake is that fine dining cake that's fine dining cake that's five star cake that five got star french cake yeah in scotland amazing amazing right i'm just gonna scoff it now okay bye <laughs> Someone's having a bath. Someone doesn't look very happy about it. <laughs> Hello. So we are at the Braemar caravan site, which hmm, is it called Invercold? It is, yeah. That's what the sign says outside. Invercald Estate, part of the Invercald Estate anyway. So it's very nice, very nice campsite. Um, the showers are 10 out of 10. They're brilliant. Um, there's only one thing that's kind of annoying me. Um, and that's, they have um, top-up okay. meters. Okay for your electric which is absolutely fine so you pay on a card and then you top that up as and when you need it and um, so you pay that separately to your um, overnight charge but every time somebody runs out of electric the uh, meters beep <laughs> so yesterday we uh, or actually it's even a low credit warning so yesterday we didn't put very much on our card when we arrived and within two hours it started beeping now we didn't know that it beeped so we're getting really annoyed going what's that beeping or we could just hear this beeping constantly it was really annoying so anyway eventually we figured out that it's the meter um and uh, you can just press a red button and it stops the beeping um it's just like a low credit warning um but now everyone's starting to beep <laughs> and uh, it's like chinese water torture <laughs> there's just all these little beeps happening all over the site so it's a little bit annoying so i hope they all stop by the night time because i can't sleep if there's annoying sounds um although we probably won't hear anything tonight because it's due to thunder and lightning and heavy rain all night um also the midges are out in force as are the black flies god knows what's going on anyway so yeah the midges are on their way even here which is supposed to be not too bad around here but they're pretty relentless i've been bitten loads by them and they do leave a nice lump uh don't know if you can see that on my hand that's a, that's two days old that one um, yeah I've been bitten on the face today again and down my legs a uh, nice one on my arm here as well I don't know if you can see that yeah so um, one on my toe which was really itching this morning anyway so the midges are out in force um, and it probably is only going to get worse for the summer so hmm, that's the only downside about Scotland I think anyway enough moaning um we're going to enjoy we've just been out for a nice long walk and we're going to enjoy a nice cold drink and a sit down so see you later when the wildlife comes to you look at this little cutie oh so cute you want some dinner we've got lots of dinner oh. Yeah.
Good morning everyone. So the thunderstorms weren't as bad, the rain wasn't as bad overnight and actually we've got a quite a nice day so far today. So we've headed to Balmoral. So I've paid the entrance fee to come in. Dogs and Sean are back at the van because he wasn't that bothered about coming in. So I'm going to take a stroll around the estate. It's £16.50 to get in um, and you can stay as long as you like. So um, yeah, I'm going to have a nice wander on my own all around the estate. Balmoral Castle is the private home of the British royal family and has been since it was purchased for Queen Victoria by Prince Albert in 1852. The castle is located on a 50,000 acre estate which includes mountains, forests and rivers. Your ticket gives you access to some lovely walks around the grounds and gardens. So when I bought my ticket they gave me a map um, and I heard them say that the, um, the way I've come is the recommended route. It takes about an hour and it takes you right to the back of the estate. Um, which is just beautiful. It's full of forest and trees and just, just wildlife everywhere. It's just amazing. Um, I think all the main attractions are sort of round by the house, which I'll get to soon, but it's well worth coming around the back first. It takes you to the river. Uh, there's a memorial for, Prince, uh, for the Duchess Alice, um, Queen Victoria's daughter. And I think I'm heading to the pet cemetery now, which I just think is beautiful um, to have a, a cemetery for all your animals that you've ever had. It's just a lovely thing. just so beautiful. People have left sticks um, on top of their headstones. It's so beautiful. Pull myself together. <laughs> Mr. Tony Frog. Oh, hello. Hello, mate. How are you going? How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? A poorly poor, or is that how you do it? You got a poorly poor. There's lots of ants here, loads, loads for you to eat. Oh, see you later. The castle was built in a Scottish baronial style, which is characterised by its turrets, battlements, and crow stepped gables. At the time I visited, public access to the castle was limited to the ballroom only, where photography and video are not allowed. However, in September 2023, Balmoral Castle will reopen to the public for the first time since the death of Queen Elizabeth II. There is remodelling going on, so it's best to check the website for more information. 
guess what else they've got here? Highland cows, yes. I might be able to get up close and personal. I've only seen them from afar so far. Six weeks it's taken me. Anyway, let's go and see them. They're not coming any closer than that I'm afraid so and it looks like rain so I'm gonna head back towards the castle so that was weirdly emotional walking around there I think um, Partly because my mum would have loved it. Partly because my grandmother would have loved it. Um, and even Sean's mum would have loved it. Um, so, yeah, just feels a bit emotional. That's about it from Balmoral. Um, they do have a cafe and a gift shop here, but it was just started to rain, so it got really crazy. So I didn't bother. Um, yeah, so we're heading back to the camper van and it's time to head off to Stonehaven on the coast now. So we'll see you later. Join us next time as we find the home of the deep fried Mars bar and spot some hungry harbour visitors.